Hello, this is Steve Wilson in the XCrafts ERJ Family Video Tutorial Series. In this video, we're going to do a brief orientation to the Tekton FMS, essentially showing you uh, the various page navigation options. Of course, we start on the initialization page, otherwise known as init. Uh, top left-hand corner is where we will initialize the FMS, and that gives the FMS a present position update, as well as clearing out the navigation database so that we can add new waypoints. Uh, we have the company route, which is basically loading a flight plan route that's saved in your X-Plane uh, FMS plans directory. Uh, of course, you could save a route if, you, if you've entered some unique waypoints uh, and you want to save your route section. Uh, you also have the ability to save the entire flight plan that has been completely loaded into the navigation database. Uh, you have the ability to change your radio call sign if you wish, and this also shows up on the radio pages. Status is pretty much as it has been, uh, a little bit less information because we have less space, but it does include the all-important information as to your air rack cycle, uh, essentially showing you the vintage of your navigation data. Okay, back to the init page and to the index, which will look very familiar to those of you who've uh, used the XCraft's E-Jets before, either the 175 or the 195. Uh, we still group Departure and SID together, as well as Arrival and STAR together. Um, departure page looks pretty much the same, as does the Arrival page. And uh, SID or STAR out of the both the same. They'll basically show you a list of waypoints that are in your uh, Departure or your Arrival procedures. Route's a little bit different in that we've combined a number of functions into route. Uh, we go to route, in other words, uh, to add route waypoints, but also to edit the route. Uh, if we decide that we want to go back and edit things, we will, of course, uh, take a visit here in a later video. If you have uh, waypoints entered already, you can cut straight to the chase and go to the airways page to add airways as well uh, from the route page. Back to the index, uh, the autopilot should be fairly familiar. This is virtually identical to how it has been in the E-Jets uh, for the last three years. Progress, again, that's very, very similar. A little bit less data because, of, again, we've uh, got fewer rows in this particular M FMS. But uh, PROG2 is the same thing. It uh, will edit a waypoint for you, basically waypoint altitude if you need to change it in route. And it will also show you the flight plan list once it has been loaded. And uh, with that, we'll go ahead and take care of the radio page. Very, very straightforward. Uh, COM1, COM2, NAV1, NAV2, uh, swap functions, nothing unusual or new here. Uh, some information has been moved over to the radio2 page. Uh, but of course, you've got your ADFs on radio2, along with your transponder, the type of aircraft, and the call sign. And that, of course, is also set up on the init page. If you need to ident, uh, this would be one place you could do it, uh, essentially telling uh, ATC, hey, here I am. Uh, from here, you can go back directly to the index or to Radio 1. And uh, let's see, uh, the autopilot hasn't changed a bit. Perf is very, very similar, a little bit less information. Uh, now we go with the number of passengers, payload weight, and fuel total. Uh, this, of course, accommodates uh, all five aircraft with their varying quant uh, numbers of uh, fuel tanks. Uh, your flaps selection is the same, except for the E-145, or rather, excuse me, the ERJ-135 that uh, only uses flaps nine, so it has no selector here. And uh, going over to the TRS page, uh, this is the same as your uh, TR, your uh, uh, thrust rating select uh, panel which I can show you down here. These four buttons correspond to the buttons on the panel themselves. You've got basic TO, you've got continuous, you've got climb, you've got cruise. Uh, the thrust rating page uh, in the FMS gives you a few other options as well. Depends on the aircraft. Perf2, uh, uh, very, very similar to the E-Jets as well. Um, the only difference being, of course, we no longer have fuel calculations. Uh, that's something that uh, you'll have to work out uh, using the basic 3,000 pounds per hour 
uh, estimate that is uh, normally used uh, by ERJ pilots, from what I am told. Um, wind direction, wind speed, cruise uh, outside air temperature, if you happen to have it, uh, those will improve the accuracy of the uh, time factor that is calculated here. And of course, on PERF 3, we've got uh, our approach. We've got the predicted landing weight, which is predicted uh, when you enter the page based on how much uh, distance you have left to fly, uh, as well as the current uh, rate that you're using fuel. And you get the various uh, uh, approach speeds uh, on this page. And so this is where we hide the unit's uh, toggle. And we can toggle uh, to from uh, metric to English and back again. And that about wraps it up. If you have any questions, please feel free to visit us at xplane.org in the ERJ Family Forum, and we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Uh, and that is uh, all we have for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.